In this tutorial, we are going to design the foundation requirements for a single stack pump with its features. The pump footprint is 12 feet length and 6.2 feet width. The height from the base of the machine to the center line of the shaft is 1.9 feet. The operating speed is 5,400 rpm and the weight of the machine is 43 kilopounds. The machine data and the material data are in this table. The dimensions of the foundation are calculated with the rule of thumb method in accordance with the section 7.1.2.1 of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard. This method requires that the mass of the foundation shall be at least three times the mass of the rotating equipment and the width of the foundation shall be at least 1.5 times the vertical distance from the base of the foundation to the center line of the equipment. The length and the width of the foundation are calculated with these equations, where Lm is the length of the foundation and Lw is the distance to provide enough area for maintenance as summed as 1 feet per side. Bn is the width of the foundation. Blw is the distance to provide enough area for maintenance as summed as 1.5 feet per side. Tm is the height of the foundation and to be assumed as a rigid foundation, the thickness of the foundation shall be the weight of these equations, which is 2.3 feet. Now, we need to verify that the width of the foundation is greater than 1.5 times the vertical distance from the base of the foundation to the center line of the equipment, and the criteria passed. The final preliminary dimensions are 19 feet by 9.2 feet by 2.3 feet. Now, we check the mass ratio, where Wf is the weight of the foundation and Wn is the weight of the pump. The mass ratio criteria is in greater than 3, as aforementioned, which means the dimensions of the foundation shall be increased. And the final dimensions of the foundation are 20 feet by 12.5 feet by 3.5 feet. The next step is verify the dimensions of the foundation based on the soil building capacity settlement and foundation stability through the equivalent static low method in accordance with the section 7.1.2.2 of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard. When the dynamic forces aren't provided by vendor, these dynamic forces can be taken as 50% of the weight of the machine as vertical force and 25% of the weight of the machine as lateral force. The vertical pseudo-dynamic force got a result of 21.5 kilopounds, and the horizontal pseudodynamic force got a result of 10.75 kilopounds. Now, we check the stability of the foundation with this equation, where Wm is the weight of the machine, Wf is the weight of the foundation, Bm is the width of the foundation, Fpi is the horizontal pseudodynamic force, Dmf is the height from the base of the machine to the center line of the machine shaft and TM is the height of the foundation. The foundation stability verification passed. Now, we verify the bearing capacity of the soil to the bearing pressure sent by the foundation with this equation. Phi is a reduction factor in accordance with the table 12.30 in dash 1 of the American Society Civil Engine Standard equal to 0.45. Lm is the length of the foundation and Fpb is the vertical pseudodynamic force. Verification passed. The last verification is the settlement in the operating state condition and maintenance state condition with this equation, where phi is a reduction factor in accordance with the table 12.13 and 3 of the American Society Civil Engine Standard to take into consideration the liquefaction effect that could be caused by the vibration of the machine. Ks is the soil modulus of subgrade reaction and LL is the live loads in accordance with the American Society Civil Standard to take consideration the loads during the maintenance operations. In both cases, the application passed. With all verification passed, we can evaluate the dynamic performance based on the equivalent circular foundation method proposed by Bowles, taking consideration that the accuracy of these methods lies on the length to width ratio of the foundation that shall not exceed 2.
The first thing to do is to turn the type of operation which the pump is submitted for. In this case, it's vertical, horizontal and rotting vibrations. Now, we calculate the equivalent circular radius of the foundation with the equation 5.4a and 5.4b of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard for vertical, horizontal and rocking cases respectively, where R is the equivalent circular radius for vertical and horizontal cases and R psi is the equivalent rocking circular radius case, giving a result of 8.92 feet for vertical and horizontal cases and 8.02 feet for rocking case. The next step is calculate the spring stiffness constant according with the Richard and Whitman methods, with equations 5.4.1.1 i, j and k of the American Concrete Institute 351.3 R standard for vertical, horizontal and rocking cases respectively, where nu is the position ratio and g is the shear modulus of the soil obtained from the soil analysis report, giving a result of 7.79 times 10 to the 4th kilopons per feet, 6.27 times 10 to the 4th kilopon per feet, and 3.01 times 10 to the 6th kilopons feet per radian respectively. Now, we proceed to calculate the operating frequency of the machine with the equation 5.8.1a of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard, where RPM is the angular velocity of the machine at operating state, giving a result of 565.49 radians per second. The next step is calculate the undamping natural frequency of the foundation with the equation 6.5a of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard, where Kv and Ku are the vertical and horizontal constant spring respectively, and M is the mass of the foundation system, giving a result of 120 and 107.66 radian per second respectively. The damp natural frequency for rocking has to be calculated with the rocking moment of inertia, which is calculated with this equation, where H is the center of the gravity of the foundation system and G is the acceleration of gravity, giving a result of 17.64 kilopound square second feet. Condemned natural frequency for rocking is 206.26 radian per seconds. Now, we calculate the tuning ratio with this equation, where eta v is the vertical tuning ratio, eta u is the horizontal tuning ratio, and eta psi is the rocking tuning ratio, giving a result of 4.71, 5.25, and 2.74 respectively. When the tuning ratio is less than 1, the system requires isolators to increase the value of the tuning ratio. The American Concrete Institute 351.3 R standard recommends a minimum tuning ratio of 1.4 to be in the isolation region. The next step is calculate the mass ratio with these equations, where PV, BU, and BSI are the vertical, horizontal, and rocking mass ratio, and gamma s is the specific weight of the soil obtained from the soil analysis report, giving a result of 0 0.399, 0 0.496, and 0 0.258 respectively. Now, we proceed to calculate the damping ratio with these equations, where dB, du, and d psi are the vertical, horizontal, and rocking damping ratios giving a result of 0 0.673, 0 0.409, and 0 0.235, respectively. The next step is calculate the resonance frequency for vertical, horizontal, and rocking cases with these equations, where omega vr, omega ur, omega psi r are the resonance frequencies of vertical, horizontal, and rocking, giving a result of 62.30, 21, and 34.8 Hz. Now, we proceed to calculate the unbalanced force with these equations, where omega Pn, omega Un, and omega Psi N are the vertical, horizontal, and rocking natural frequencies. Fo is the operating speed, and Fpv and Fpi are the vertical and horizontal pseudodynamic forces, giving a result of 10.27, 0 0.586, and 1.61 kilopounds, respectively. The next step 
is calculate the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude with the equation 5.8.1 JJ of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard. This step is solved in two parts. First, we calculate the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude for vertical and horizontal cases, where Kp and Ku are the soil modulus of the grade reaction, Tp and Du for the damping ratios, and eta P and eta U are the toning ratios for vertical and horizontal cases. The vertical peak-to-peak -peak amplitude is 0.142 mL and the horizontal amplitude is 0.008 mL. The final step is calculate the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude for rocking case. To do that, first, we calculate the rocking moment with this equation, where TMF is the distance from the machine center line to the top of the foundation, giving a result of 104.32 kilopounds inch. Now, we can proceed to calculate the displacement generated by the rocking moment, giving a result of 0.063 radians. The rocking displacement shall be added to the horizontal displacement to obtain the maximum displacement to the coupled horizontal and rocking action, and is calculated with this equation, where TPL is the maximum horizontal displacement due to the coupled horizontal and rocking action, giving a result of 0.353 mL. The final amplitudes peak to peak of the foundation due to the action of the pump machine are being shown in this table. The same exercise was done with the dynamic analysis method in accordance with the section 7.1.2.3 of the American Concrete Institute 351.3R standard. The results are shown in this table. In this chart is shown the vibration severity according with Bastic and Berhard, which shows us that the vibration of the foundation system is in the good to fair acceptance criteria. Furthermore, these calculations were made without taking consideration the bent portion of the foundation in the soil and was calculated as a soil supported mass foundation. Normally, this type of foundation are embedded into the soil leaving one foot of the foundation height over the ground, which means the bent part of the foundation enhances the soil stiffness, which represents the smoothest vibration. Finally, the minimum reinforcement required in accordance with section 7.3.2 of the American Concrete Institute 351.3 RS standard is 1.56 pounds cubic inch or 0.32 percent by volume. It's important to mention that each company has its own specification for this criteria, as described in the section aforementioned. With this, conclude this tutorial.